Hey guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm super excited for today's video because I finally get to show you guys how I have my vanity set up. The reason that I haven't showed you guys before is because I didn't really like the way I had it. I just felt like it was super cluttered, but I finally was able to save up and get another Alex 9 drawer. So I moved a lot of my stuff over to those drawers and now freed up some space. Now everything looks like just very evenly spread out. I feel like there's a lot less clutter. I wouldn't say I have tons of makeup, but I do have a decent amount. But the thing with me is that I like everything to look aesthetically pleasing and like just very spacious and not everything like all bunched up, if that makes sense. Um, you guys will see how I had it before. Again, please don't judge. I didn't have a lot of space. Um, I was just kind of working with what I have, but I'm very, very happy with the outcome. I literally spent like I think I started working on it at like 8 o'clock last night and I didn't finish until 12.45 so it did take me a long time um, but I'm pretty happy with it now um, and you guys will get to see everything. Um, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think, what you guys didn't like and yeah hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys so before we get into the organization part I just really want, quickly want to show you everything that I got to organize my vanity. So I did go to Home Goods today and bought a couple of things that I'm going to be using to organize my vanity. This is one of the things that I got. It's pretty much just like a makeup brush holder. Um, I only have two right now so it's not going to be enough to hold all of my brushes and I want to put more of my brushes on top of my vanity before I used to keep them inside the drawers but I don't want to do that anymore I just want them all standing up this one was six dollars and 99 cents next I bought another little makeup brush holder this one was actually only three dollars and 99 cents but it does only come with two one is a little bit rounder and then the other one's a little bit smaller then I also got this multi-use organizer. I'm thinking I'm going to put all my foundations, primers, and stuff that I want to go standing up in this one since it's a little bit taller and the compartments are wider. And this one was, this one was $9.99. Next, I got this really simple jewelry organizer tray. I believe it was, yeah, it was seven dollars and 99 cents and it just comes with multiple compartments and then it's just kind of like a white shimmery color i'm not sure if the camera will pick up the shimmer but it's just super simple and something that i can just easily put in one of the drawers to organize all my necklaces and my rings Okay, the next thing that I got was this mirror. Um, I already do I already have one but that I actually also got at Home Goods. So this is the one, this is my old one, sorry, it's dirty. I also got this at Home Goods, but one thing I didn't like about it was that it's supposed to light up and I literally switched the batteries in it like two or three times and every time like within one to two days the light would just go out so eventually I was just using it for the mirror part but this mirror part isn't as wide as I want it to be so that's why that's why I ended up just getting this one because it's a lot bigger and it also has the magnifying and this was nine dollars and ninety nine cents the next thing that I have is a package from Amazon. I actually placed an order for a set of drawer organizers. They are from the brand called Kutek and this one came with 16 pieces. But I know they have more options that come with more pieces. It just depends how many you're looking for. So this is what it looks like. It basically just comes with a bunch of different sized containers which is perfect because I wanted different sizes for different makeup products and it comes with a lot. Like I said it comes with 16 pieces. So this one is a little bit bigger. This one is a little bit longer. And it also comes with these tiny ones and these longer ones 
And then next, I just really quickly want to show what I'm going to be lining my drawers with. I did get this at Ikea. It's just like a plastic rubber thing to keep my trays from sliding. And then the last thing I want to share is this Alex 9 drawer. So basically everything from the end of the tabletop this way I already had. But the Alex 9 drawer I just got it yesterday because I'm slowly trying to expand my vanity. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start with everything that I have on top of my vanity. Um, my goal was to be able to get all my brushes to be like standing up on top of my vanity because I don't really like to have them laying down. So I already have like these little holders, this marble holder and this one from Home Goods from when I first got my vanity. But as you guys saw in the little Home Goods haul, I was able to get some extra ones. So I got this one. And then I also got this one, which worked out perfectly. I was able to fit everything. I don't love having my beauty sponge right there, but I don't know. I can't really find another place where I want it, and it's just, like, easy to have it there. The reason I don't like to have it there is because once I use it, like, it's just going to get this plastic thing dirty, and it's not going to look good. But at least for now, it's going to have to do. And then I also have this cute little palette holder. I have both of my contour palettes and then two of my favorite Morphe palettes up on here. And then as you guys saw, I also got this face mirror. It's double sided so the other side does zoom in. And then this is my vanity mirror that I currently have. So it does have lights that interchange color. So it has like a white light and then if you push this button it diffuses to a more yellow color. Now let's get into the drawers. So this top drawer I used a lot of those little organizers that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. So this is just at hands reach all of my eye stuff like my eyebrows, my glitters, my eyeliners, mascara, and then I did have some extra room so I threw in my three favorite like small palettes. These are generally the palettes that I reach for like if I'm just going to get ready really quick. These are the three palettes that I'll generally use. Um, so the two, two Huda Beauty Obsessions palette and then Dose of Colors um, Blushing Berries.
Next I have all of my powders, so all of my blushes, all of my bronzers, my banana powders, and then back here I have all my setting powders. Um, the reason I decided to put my setting powders in this bigger square one is because I don't like them really to be kind of like this. I don't know, I'm weird, I just, i rather have them laying flat. And then here you can see I have all of my blushes. These two I already had, like these little containers here that have the little dividers. These I got from my mom for Christmas, but I believe she got them on Amazon. Um, so I'll link those down in the description box. And then this one I also got at Home Goods a long time ago when I first got my vanity. And the next drawer is just like my foundation concealer drawer. So I have all my foundations. Um, unfortunately, these two here, they I have them slanted like this because if I have them standing up and I try to close the drawer, it won't close, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. So I just have them slanted like this. And then I have my primers. Again, I just don't have a lot of foundations and concealers. That's not my thing. So this little tiny box was able to fit everything. And then I have some makeup wipes, my two concealers, some, uh, what are they called? Oil absorbent wipes. And, and then I have the slime erasing blur stick. Love, love, love it. It works to absorb oil so quickly and so it leaves your face looking so smooth and then I just have my two um, setting sprays some extra wipes and some extra beauty sponges in the back as you can see these drawers have so much space still so as my makeup collection continues to grow I'll still have an ample amount of space and then next not so fond of this drawer but for now it's gonna work eventually I do want to get those containers that you can stick your lipsticks in all standing up that's my goal but uh, if you guys haven't already noticed things can get a little bit pricey so for now this will have to work and I don't have a lot so it's fine I have all of my like lip glosses in this section and then liquid lipsticks here and then all my ColourPop lipsticks here and then this drawer was just where I'm going to keep all of my nail stuff and then I have two little containers here that were holding my brushes. I just decided to throw them in here since there was so much extra space. Moving on to the other side, I have all my eyelashes. I'm not going to lie guys, I don't like this setup. I feel like it still looks super cluttered but for now it's just going to have to work. Um, originally I had all my eyelashes standing up like this, but the reason that I didn't keep it that way was because I have a lot of lashes from this brand called Shop Candy Beauty, and theirs don't have the label like right here, so I would have to literally take them all out and then see what style they are, and I feel like that's going to get annoying, so I just decided to lay them out. Basically what I did... As you can see, these two are stacked. That means that they're the same style. I just figured it would be easier to do it that way. And then all my Amazon lashes are back there. And then these are just some of my other lashes that I have. The next drawer is my skincare drawer. So I have all of my moisturizers here up at the front. And then the next one is just all of my face masks. This little compartment is all of my like lip scrubs, chapsticks, things like that. And then this one is retinal oils and serums. And then I just have some facial radiance pads and some cleansing wipes. And my mitol because your girl be getting cramps and I need to have that like at hand's reach sometimes. So the next drawer is this one but I'm not going to show you guys because that's actually my boyfriend's drawer and it just has all of his guy stuff in it so not important. So next I have this drawer. So I did already have these compartments. Again my mom got them for me. I believe she got them on Amazon. I'll link them down below. Um, 
I did throw out a lot of my palettes because as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I had a lot of clutter. They were all stacked up. I had to like dig through the drawers to find the palette that I wanted and I didn't like that. So at least this way I'm able to see the palettes, what they are, their names and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I did get rid of a lot so now I have like a little bit extra space. And then the next one is empty because I haven't, I didn't need it. I moved a lot of stuff over to the Alex 9 drawer as you guys will see it in a second. Um, I have an idea for what I want to do with this drawer but I'm not entirely sure yet. For now it's just going to stay empty. And then really quick I just want to show you guys my dogs. Um, actually the reason that I had gone to Home Goods was to find decorations to put up here and kind of put on my vanity desk but I wasn't able to find any so I already had this frame so I just put it up here and then I have my pumpkin candle and then right up top I have a picture of one of my sisters and a drawing that she made me so the first drawer I put that jewelry box that you guys saw at the beginning of the video I don't have a lot of jewelry I'm not a jewelry girl so I still have tons of space um, but as you guys can see, I just have my watch, some bracelets, and then the necklaces that I wear in literally all of my videos, and my promise ring. And then next, this is where I threw all the extra palettes. These palettes I don't really reach for that much, but I'm not quite ready to get rid of them yet. So I just threw them in here because I had the space. And then... Next is my body spray drawer, so I have all my bath and body sprays and some lotions. Next I have some more sprays, but this one's from Victoria's Secret. It's like a body glitter and then this is some perfume, deodorant, lotion, and then some extra candles that I have. And then of course my CeraVe Daily Moisturizer. And then this drawer is empty for now. Like I said, I don't have a lot of makeup. I just wanted everything to be less cluttered. So for now, this one's going to be empty. As we move down to the next drawer, I have all my hair stuff. So my hair ties, my hair clips, some scrunchies, and a brush. And then this next drawer is not really makeup. It's just all my techie stuff. So like my... Com my computers in here, my Fitbit, my AirPods, and I keep all my camera stuff in here. Obviously, I'm using my camera right now, so it's not in here, but this is where I want to keep it from now on because I've literally just been leaving it like on top of my vanity and stuff, and I don't look, I don't like how it looks because it just looks messy, but luckily I can just store it in here now. And then this drawer is another empty drawer. I just put all the extra containers that I had left. I had a lot of the little square ones left, so they're in here. Um, like I said, I hope to grow my makeup collection, so hopefully soon I'll be using these. And then this last, this last drawer is probably one that you guys are going to be most excited for because this is my giveaway drawer. Um, there's not a lot in here so far, but I do have a couple of things. So lip glosses, jewelry, lots of lashes, a Becca highlighter, and a mini curler. Um, the goal is to reach 100 subscribers, and once I, once I reach 100 subscribers, then I will be doing a giveaway.